And here we are again, everybody. We are getting ready for topic three, DQ1. Once again, first things first, claim your space, right? Let's go ahead and enter our name. And when we do that, these boxes below, these text boxes are going to populate and give us information to type into our cells below, okay? So as we do this, let's see what happens. All right, name, and there you go, voila, data appears, okay? Now, it's not all the same. Don't, don't type in mine, right? Your name is not the same as mine, so your data will be different than mine. Let's go ahead and now start typing. It says, I'm going to let you guys do that. One. I'm going to go down here to the very last one. It says, compute the monthly payments required to reach a future amount of 7,019, let's go ahead and type, $7,019.20. All right, and it says, after six years, an APR of 4.93%, so 0 0.0493. Let's make sure it's going to be formatted correctly. It is, it's a percent with two decimal places, very nice. It says it's computed monthly, so N is 12. And the T is how many years? Six years. All right. And we've got it. We have entered properly all the data. Now, I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of those. You can obviously fill those in uh, very nicely. And when you get up to the top one where it says simple interest, simple interest is not compounded. So you don't need the value of N there. N is not even into the formula. Look right here, right? N does not even show up in this formula right here at all. So you can just leave that completely blank for simple interest. The rest of them all have N, so make sure you fill those in as necessary. All right, next, let's start with the formulas. Now, these are a little bit more tricky than what we've done in the past, so let's see what we can do. All right, start with the equal sign. Now, notice here, everybody, it says future value time. So what cell was my future value in? Right here, I'm just going to click on it. Click on the future value. And then times, it says open parentheses. All right. And then R divided by N. So R forward slash N. All right. Close parentheses. All right. Now. It wants me to do a forward slash so I can divide and then open with a double parentheses. All right, now let's go one plus. It says again, R divided by N. Do it one more time, R divided by N. All right, again, close parentheses. Now, it gives us a caret key to raise our exponent. So let's use our caret key and let's get our exponent, which was N N times T. So N times T. Oh, not T, my bad. T the cell. <laughs> All right, T, there we go. All right, close parentheses. All right minus one, close parentheses, and hit enter. All right, there we go. There is our formula. We have correctly calculated the payment that it would require for us to pay off that future amount, okay? No, not pay off in this case, reach, right? This is an annuity. So we're trying to reach a value. We're not paying off something. We're reaching for a value in the future. So it would require us to make a payment of $83.98 per month to accumulate the $7,019.20 that we want in the future. All right, next, our formula says, to find the total investment, we're going to take the payment, which we just calculated, times N times T. All right, that's our total 
amount that we invested. So start with the equal sign, then click on the function where P is, then times N, the number of payments per year, times T, the number of years. All right, hit enter. We will have invested, right? That's how much we put in the payment times the number of payments per year, times the number of years. We will have invested $6,046.47. Now, another good question to always ask ourselves is, well, how much interest did we earn? How would I calculate that? I would take the future amount that I wanted to arrive at minus the amount that I invested, and that would be my interest earned. So let's take equals the future value minus the total amount that was invested and hit enter. And there we have it. I will have earned $972.73 of interest. All right, now everybody, once again, I have done the last one. The other three are left up for you guys to do, okay? And do be careful with this and keep it handy because why? It says, Use this template to solve your Alex, that is your homework problems. It will save you a lot of time on topic three and topic four homework and review. Okay, so everybody, you want to save this file and use it for your homework. If I were doing the same homework question, I would just have to change the future value, the rate, the N, and the T, and it would automatically populate for me, and I could do a homework question just that fast because I've already typed in the formula one time. So... That will take care of that one. All right. The next question says, find the future amount if I invest $72.57 monthly, right? So that's finding a future value of an annuity. All right. The next one is finding the future value of a lump sum. And the uh, first one or the simplest one is finding the future value of a, a simple interest formula, future value of simple interest. So keep all these formulas handy future value, simple interest, future value, compound interest, future value of an annuity, and calculating the payment to arrive at the future value that you want to achieve. All right, that being said, everybody, go ahead and make sure you've checked all these boxes off. Make sure you've done every one of these data values correctly. Make sure you've entered your formulas correctly and you are good to go, guys. That is enough fun for one video. You guys take care and I will see you in the forums.